I bet you they've put in, they've chosen their own seed. They have chosen their own seed. They know it's going to give them 120 long bars, and this is going to be a double 1.2 game right here. I'm, I'm on to them. I'm on to these guys. I'm watching that long bar count with an eagle eye here. This is a, this is a setup. This is a setup right here. But uh, both players, oh, they've obviously memorized the seed, so they're off to good starts here. One burn line for Opox and uh, no burn lines for Nano. Three Tetris is a piece. Uh, hey, Sunny. If only you weren't AFK. Oh yeah, you could have taken them. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, ben, uh, getting up a little bit high. You've got to, uh, you've got to start to, uh, start to organize Ben Vermeer. Of course, Ben Vermeer will be on this channel later on this season. Uh, the die has been cast. Ben Vermeer and Richard Wolf. The main event of the season will be coming up at some point on this channel, so if you haven't already, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, follow this channel, because you don't want to miss that match. Uh, Sunny Disposition will be restreaming it on this channel after, uh, after a lineup of potentially uh, not quite as hype matches from uh, Divisions 1 and 2. So it will be the main event. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, ben Vermeer and uh, Richard Wolf will be the main event of the evening. Or morning. Or afternoon. I guess Ben Vermeer is in Scotland, so it'll probably have to be an earlier stream. Kind of like this one. Hit the bell. Yeah, ring the bell for notification squad. I think the bell is on by default on Twitch, so you don't have to actually ring it. You just have to not unring it. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want your match on the, uh, if you want your match on the stream uh, after you know maybe maybe Dog and Andy finish playing and then you get to play in front of everybody who hasn't left yet, uh, you can by contributing to the match arena. It is in the marketplace item section. Couple of. Uh, couple of high rollers have already contributed that amount for some reason but they have and uh, therefore they will get what they want at a time later this season as if this channel is large enough to justify that amount of money but apparently it is for the memes uh, Ben is in a bit of a suffer and oh my goodness Nanu Barely, barely getting his stack burned down, but it's clean. It was just so high when he got that piece over. But he was, he never really had an unclean board. He just had a very high board. And it's getting a little droughted. I guess both players are. That's why they're so high up the board, because they are on the same seed. And it's not a very nice seed, so I guess I was wrong, and they're not both going to get 1.2s this game, but they are pretty neck and neck. Nanu, about 10,000 points ahead, he gets a Tetris there to extend the lead to 30,000 points. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello, uh, Tetris time. Couldn't play today. Uh, but he's here. Uh, hey, uh, L. Peace Lucas. Welcome on in. Uh, I've already said hello to Timmy Kim. <laughs> uh, Somalian. Thank you. You can eat some. Well, you can't buy follows, but you can you can satisfy the people that are trying to buy follows. 
if you follow that link. After the match though, don't do it during the match. You can do it anytime. You can do it when this stream isn't even online. You can just put that, put that link, just save that link in your bookmarks. You know, every morning when you wake up, you're having your coffee or your orange juice or your, uh, you know, your G Fuel, I guess. You could be drinking G Fuel when you wake up in the morning. Uh, <laughs> just go to the link and click on stuff every day, just out of habit. Ben is uh, transitioning at 381, Neno at 440. Uh, both with not great boards, so that's pretty horrible seed, I guess, uh, for both players, is they both struggled with it. And uh, Ben with a cleaner board will be able to catch up here. And they're going to be pretty neck and neck once Nenu gets out of this situation, I think. Ben might actually take the lead. Uh, Nenu is dealing with it. Gets a tuck in there. He's going to transfer the well back probably, or uh, it looks like he's going to. And 467 to 468. <laughs> they are neck and neck now, so uh, that worked out, and now it's probably the closest game we've had all day. Uh, every game between Nenu and Tristop, uh, Tristop was like 100,000 points ahead. There wasn't really any chance of Nenu outplaying Tristop by 100,000 points, but here we're, we're neck and neck. Every little bit of efficiency is probably going to matter here. Except the zero point game, yeah, but that was over before it even began, so he didn't really have a chance to, uh, <laughs> to worry about pacing. Ben is, uh, is Tetris ready, 590, Nenu 610. So Nenu with the advantage down, Ben's board. It's falling apart, he gets the well back open, but he needs like a couple of long bars really quickly and they're not coming and Ben is going to top out at 596. Nenu is getting the same drought right now so I guess we'll see when it ends but Nenu is good and there it ends. Just a couple of pieces too late for Ben. Actually it was in Ben's next box so that, there you go. Uh, Nenu will take game number one. And uh, I guess players will update the seed. I think you update the first two digits. Uh, and thanks for all the clicky clicks. Uh, answered question. That's uh, Dylan and Tugi. So Europeans can do it. Also, uh, thanks for the uh, direct contribution, Timmy. Very mature. Hey now. I mean, look how much money that Dylan and Tugi just added to the prize pool. And that's two people. Imagine if every single person in the chat right now that isn't on mobile. I guess you could probably do it on mobile. But imagine if every single one of you, 70 people watching right now, just went there and added like a dollar to the prize pool. It would, it would shoot up. It would be over $300. It probably wouldn't because the budget for uh, things would run out before that happened. But, you know, it would shoot up by like 20 or $30 if you all stop being so lazy. And, you know, that's a, that could buy, uh, that could buy, uh, that could buy uh, Andy a new webcam <laughs> at the end of the season. Uh, the top four players in, in Division 1 will all be receiving a part of the prize pool. I will be re -re receiving nothing. I will be contributing to the prize pool. Which is something I never do, so, you know, there you go. Very out of character. I'm actually just going to try and... No, I'm going to try and steal it all, guys. I'm going to run away. It's actually, actually, it's against the partnership agreement. They won't let me give money to myself. 
I was like, could I just, you know, could I just like uh, slip away with like, you know, all of the money and then nobody's going to know. And like, no, you can't do that. So I, I was like, oh shit. Okay, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just put money into the prize pool then. And click on links. I like clicking on links. Nenu at 234. Ben 254. Uh, it's a one Tetris lead for Ben here. Uh, not too dissimilar to the last game, I guess, neck and neck. And both players building pretty efficiently here. And uh, I think this is a better seed than the last one. Oh <laughs> my goodness, that adjustment by Nano. It's rare that you see that adjustment to set up a T-spin because a lot of players won't be confident enough that they're actually going to hit the T-spin to make that adjustment when it's not 100% necessary, but it did slightly improve the board state, I guess. I, I will do an adjustment like that because I like going for T-spins just to show off, right? But you don't usually see players uh, that are serious about winning doing that kind of adjustment uh, nano 318 ben sneaking ahead but he does miss drop a piece there it's gonna take a few burn lines maybe two burn lines to clean up no big deal but his left side now a little jacked up he kind of needs another t piece over there at some point and uh, there it is finally And now 380, Nenu takes the lead, 387, but he is four lines ahead. So Ben takes it straight back with the long bar. Um, so under a Tetris lead for Ben now. A little bit of digging was all it took for Nenu to catch right back up. And oh, a bad uh, adjustment there on the square by Ben. That is going to be costly. Uh, how costly though? Don't know yet. But he is definitely going to have to burn away some lines. And I don't think he's crazy enough to go for a dirty Tetris here. He's definitely not that crazy. Uh, he's just going to burn it away. Some players would go for that, you know. But Ben is... He's a tapper, but he's not insane. Maybe a roller would go for that Tetris there. And that's why rollers haven't won anything. And oh, but Cheese won WPL. He won like a best of, he won like what? Like two best of threes and one best of five. And the one of the best of threes was probably against somebody that barely qualified. <laughs> it's like, you can't really call that, you know, a tournament. That's like a rapid fire. Oh, he won like one match that was the best of five and he had a good call. Obviously he had a good qualifier. And that's it. That's all rolling has accomplished so far. Uh, Ruins couldn't even win a match yesterday. Uh, yeah, he did win a best of three against Joseph, but you know, Joseph's a bit rusty. Joseph probably let him win because he's just a nice guy, right? His friends with cheese, he's like, oh, you know, I'll just let him win this time. He needs better internet, so maybe if he gets the prize money, he'll be able to afford better internet or something. Uh, and then it was transitioned at about 550, I guess, and Ben at the same. Then neck and neck, 612 to 612. Neno ahead by 10 points. Uh, but he's behind by five, uh, four, four lines, rather. So Neno with a four-line pace advantage, I guess you would call it. It's not necessarily a Tetris advantage, but he is playing efficiently right now, so it is a Tetris advantage. And Ben now has a bit of a mess to clean up, gets the long bar pretty soon. He's not gonna... he decides not to stack up there for the second line dependency, and it was probably the right decision because there weren't that many long bars. But it is going to cost him more burned lines to stay safe here. And Nenu is starting to run away with this. As he is still Tetrising, he is still clean. He is at 771. Ben at 655 now. And 
He gets a dirty Tetris. He's decided that he has to start playing aggressive now, I think. He's falling too far behind and he's just going to have to start risking things. Uh, Nenu, oh, with an interesting... Oh my god, Nenu, holy crap. Unbelievable adjustments by Nenu there. And he doesn't even burn a line. What the heck? doesn't even burn a line with all of that mess going on. I mean, it looks like mess, but he plays like this all the time, so he's he's used to it. Nenu now at six, uh, 9.25, uh, Ben is at 7.28, so 200,000 points. Starting to run out of runway here is Ben. Nenu just, uh, he's on 1.2 pace right now, uh, barely. I mean, he'd have to go pretty perfect from here. I think. Uh, not, not really. He probably has like five or six burns. I don't know exactly the math from here, but yeah, he is uh, it's looking pretty good right now. A57, so he's over 200,000 points ahead. Ben is going to have to have the uh, post post of his life if he's going to pull this out. He's going to have to start rolling in the next 20 seconds if he's going to pull this one back. Oh, an unfortunate Z piece there for Nenu. Has to take a couple of burns, but he's still keeping it on track here. Let's take another. He's got three more Tetris available. He only needs two of them, I think. I think a Tetris here... Oh, no, it won't be because it's slightly under. So he has to take a single... And then a Tetris will be a 1.2. And he gets the long bar. There it is. The second 1.2 of the stream. Oh my god, that was that was the easiest 1.2 I've ever seen. It never looked in doubt that Nano actually cracked. Wins the game by almost 300,000 points there. And uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of long bars. And 91 long bars, not bad. Not bad. Uh, unfortunate little dig for Ben there that started on, I think, level 22, and then he never really recovered from that because he had to play aggressively to try and catch up. And when you're forced to play more aggressively on 19, things tend not to work out most of the time. So, uh, it's, uh it happens. And had he been closer, he probably would have played the same as Nano and ended up maxing out. Because max outs are basically free for these players. Uh, do we have a ready from Ben? I don't know. He is ready. Okay. I'm not used to this, you know, ready here, hover three over here. But they are both ready. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, pay up. It's up to it's up to fifty. I capped it at a hundred dollars though, because I'm not I'm not that rich. But I I'm not really expecting them to go much beyond that anyway. Uh, we are of course uh, well, we're over halfway through the season now, I believe, and we are halfway to that goal. Five one point twos now with uh, Tristop and Nenu contributing today. I wonder if uh, any of the 1.2s will actually be from players who end up in the in the prize money. I think I think Andy got one right. And Jake hasn't even started playing yet and Jake uh, he 1.2s all the time. Oh no Ben 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 Ben. Oh my god. He gets the well back open. Oh my god, that was so close to a disaster for Ben. And he gets he gets the bailout. And he's he's good. So uh both players now back to Tetrising efficiently. They're neck and neck, ninety-eight thousand to ninety-seven thousand. Uh, 
I should make Bill restream all of Jake's games. Uh, really? Is this because of the pal thing, or is it like, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if there's, if there's beef there. I thought it was Tugi who was, uh, kind of hasn't gotten over that. Oh, Nenu misses the, uh, oh, I don't think he missed it. I think he decided not to do the uh, vits there because he's more comfortable with um, these other setups and he gets out of it fine. Uh, that would have scared the shit out of me, but he just burns one line and it's like whatever to Nenu. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like there's always more solves to a situation in Tetris than I'm aware of. And every time I watch Division 1 players playing, I realize how inadequate I've become at this game. But they all have their own, you know, unique stacking styles as well. Nano now has a bit of a mess on his board that's going to allow Ben to stand the lead here. And Ben is in the lead, he's not in a pace lead, but he will be soon enough. So Nano has to take these burns and gets clean again. And uh, there we go, Tetris for Nenu, 324, Ben at 369. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Elf is, uh, Elf is now asking when it's God. Everybody wants to stream on this channel, except Bill, obviously. And uh, the, 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 the level of gatekeeping here is significantly lower than it is on the monthly Tetris channel. Not the classic Tetris channel, I mean anybody can stream to classic Tetris. I, I mean they even let Puffy on there one time. Then at 488 and then 463 and then three lines behind so getting back to almost level pegging here and uh, we'll probably be within a Tetris that transition, Ben getting a little high up here, it's gonna take some burns, it could actually allow Nenu into the lead here, but they are of course experiencing the same piece set, so they are both burning at the same time here while their long bar is not coming. Ben transitions at 5.61, Nenu is ready and will transition at 5.62, so they are, they are neck and neck. So uh, yeah, very different to the uh, previous games. Uh, all of the games here are pretty much neck and neck pace. And uh, the post transition play is gonna decide it once again. We'll see if Ben can keep it a little bit cleaner this time, stay efficient. He's doing well so far. 666 for Ben and uh, 643 for Nenu. Ben, uh, I think he, he plays a little a little bit more aggressively than uh, Nenu, so if there's a high long bar count, then he uh, tends to creep ahead, but then if he if there isn't, he'll get caught in a dig. 
and Nenu will just run over the top. Nenu doesn't tend to get as aggressive until the last few levels. Because uh, he's playing, he's kind of playing the match here. He knows how these matches go. People get caught in a dig and he'll just catch them up at the end. He'll take that burn there, keeps his stack clean. Ben is very flat, very high and gets a Tetris. So Ben is creeping ahead here. Hasn't got into a mess yet and he's at 818. Nenu at 766. Neither player's really looked in any danger post-transition yet. Um, nice tuck there by Nenu. Ben covered the well. Longbar still hasn't come. He's taking some good burns here. Gets the Tetris. Uh, Nenu here also having to take the same burns. It's the same drought. Is the Longbar going to come? Oh my god, it came just too late there. Nenu maybe could have adjusted that L piece with the long bar coming, but didn't quite do it in time. Or perhaps was too aggressive, but Ben now 120,000 points ahead. So he's having a good post. Uh, he's not quite on 1.2 pace, I think. Uh, <laughs> I hope, uh, unless he gets some post, but he is on a good pace. Uh, A56 for Ben, 903 for Nenu, and Nenu, yeah, he's kind of running out of time here. He's got three more Tetrises available, and yeah, he's going to need at least two Tetrises post-transition to catch Ben, and Ben's still going. Ben, he wants more. That last long bar isn't coming. He could actually get one on kill screen here if he gets the long bar, but it wouldn't be a 1.2, so it doesn't matter. Nenu getting the same drought, and the uh, long bar comes, and then he tops out. So max out for both players. Uh, another combined score of a ridiculous amount of points. And uh, yeah, these players, man. What is going on? Ben will take his first heart. When did players get this good at, at this game? Like, this is just commonplace now. People would have lost their mind if this happened a year ago. Or maybe a little bit over that, but... You know what I mean. Uh, looks like uh, we have a ready from Nano and from Opox. So let's get game number four underway. not gonna mod you Somalian I'm sorry but you will qualify for some of the marketplace rewards if you keep uh, if you keep giving money to the prize pool so uh, that's uh, that's something but mods are reserved for uh, I don't know who are they reserved for people that stream on this channel and actual mods who do things. Except Galoomba who he, he used to do things. He hasn't really he hasn't really done anything for a while, but he's still a mod. Every uh, every Tetris uh, every Tetris organization has to have one. And uh, Galoomba, yeah. Well they are uh, If we ever have a, a Division 10, I guess, uh, if a Division 10 happens, then uh, they will have something to do again. <laughs> and uh, what else? Uh, oh my god, Nenu. He is fighting for his life here. And he's getting all the right pieces. 
somehow is surviving this. Really crucial S to the left there. It's a tuck. Oh my god. This is not looking good for Nano. I don't see how he gets out of this. And Nano's going to top out at 72,000. <laughs> They're rational stacking. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Galoomba is as aggressive a stacker as they used to be. I think everybody just remembers the, the good old days. We have a, a ready now. We're going to decide it just like that. There's a sudden early top out. Both players kind of uh, trying to maximize the efficiency on level 18 can occasionally lead to that sort of game. And then uh, people, you know, people will be like, oh, you know, I could have won that. You know, but you wouldn't have because they wouldn't have been playing that aggressively if they were playing you. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Timmy Kim. You wouldn't have won that game because uh, there's no way that uh, Nanu would have been playing that aggressively against Timmy Kim. But the threat posed by Ben is, uh, is enough to warrant that level of aggression. start here for both players nice seed looks like every piece evenly distributed more or less and both players on 160 plus neck and neck to have drought hack on and he'd still beat Timmy Kim. It's uh it's probably true. I have I have a tendency to top out early against players that I'm try harding against these days. And but doing the opposite of course does also not work. Because if you don't get a 600k transition, you're not going to win. <laughs> Sorry, you need a you need a pretty big head start just to have a chance. Nano is uh, 283. Little bit of a situation to dig through. Then we'll continue to stay clean here and uh, momentarily has to block the board though and uh, it's going to take a few burn lines. I guess both players getting droughted at the same time so then uh, 349.999 there. Let's say uh, that should be a, a tier on the match arena. Sounds like a, a price for something. <laughs> and uh, what do we got here? Nenu 378 now. So Nenu retook the lead in that sort of droughty period somehow. He managed to, to stay Tetris ready while Ben apparently didn't. But Ben is still neck and neck with Nenu. Mm. 
Ben with that kind of awkward looking dependency in the middle decides to block the well with the T. Smart move there as the uh, L piece took its time to come. And now gets a Tetris. 478 for Ben. 499 for Nenu. Oh, Ben suddenly getting up very high. He gets the long bar very quickly, though, so he's not going to top out, but he, uh, he's going to have a little bit of situation to deal with before transition, which is fast approaching, so he will get it sorted out. He might go for a left hole Tetris, but it looks like he's just going to transfer it back. He's not taking any risks. And uh, the game is not one to help him out here. Uh, it does give him the long bar there, but this is not ideal. He would like another long bar or that L would also work because he doesn't want to cover this left dependency. And there's some pretty good pieces considering the 562 transition for Ben, about 600 for Nenu. Didn't see if he got another Tetris, but he did now. Nenu, a couple of Tetrises ahead. Ben has cleaned up his board, transferred it back to the right side. But yeah, Nenu now with a, a couple of Tetrises pace advantage and Ben with a little bit of a sketchy board right now. Nenu is also not built on the left. Nice adjustment there with the J piece. Saw the long bar coming and flipped it the other way. That was kind of crucial there to save dependency. For Nenu, Nenu now at 759. Oh, it's a, it's a not a, a bit set up there for Nenu. I don't know if that was a misread of the board or he just changed his mind. But he's going to have to burn a couple of lines here. No big deal. Here's Tetris ready again. Nice adjustment there again with the L piece. Would have probably killed a DAS player, but he's not a DAS player, so he's fine. Uh, that's like, that's the thing that happens to DAS players in their nightmares. They do that adjustment and then they lose DAS and hang the long bar because they, they shifted it. Um, 8.39 now for Nenu, 7.98 for Ben, both get a Tetris, so still 40,000 points separating the two players. Nenu, oh he hangs a square, gets the long bar over, he's gonna need a, some help here, he gets a couple of long bars, but he still has to clean that board out and he's getting all the right pieces unbelievably good pieces there to clean that out and Ben is getting in trouble now Ben up kind of high here he gets the piece to the left that was a huge tap and he's cleaned it out but Nenu has taken the time to establish a bit of a lead Nenu's board not looking too good though Ben's board also not looking too good. Ben misses the T-spin, but I don't think it would have made any difference because he couldn't get Tetris ready anyway. Uh, he's going to have to skim these lines and build on row 2. Uh, Nenu ahead by 60,000 points. Ben is not getting the long bars he requires. Neither is Nenu, of course. Same seed. Nenu is in column 4, gets the Tetris. A54 for Nenu. Ben, he gets one more to go to A25, and that's going to be it for Ben. Nenu holding out for a long bar. Doesn't need one in the end. Didn't come for either player, and... Uh, well, I think it did come for Ben. I don't know how Ben got that last long bar. Oh, it was earlier. Okay, Nenu was already past that. 
And uh, there you go. Nano will take the set in the decider. Really, really high quality match there. I, I've lost count of how many max outs we just saw, but it was a lot. And uh, yeah, GG's there. I will uh, update the update the standings here. And we can have a little bit of a look uh, at the standings following that match and the previous match, I guess, also. Um, here they are. Did I report that correctly? I think I did. Um, yes. Okay, so uh, Nenu goes to 3-2. and two. Started the day at 2-1. and one. Still in the running there for the prize money. Uh, Dejan, who didn't play today, is probably in a good position. Ben's still in a good position. And Jake, who hasn't started yet. So they're all kind of nipping at the heels there of uh, Andy, Dog, and Fractal, who have all had incredible starts to the season. But they don't have an easy run in to the finish. They have to play all of these players. So if any of them start losing, then any of these players can start rising to the top and uh they yeah there are your uh standings of course uh i don't know we've got nothing else to show here the match arena if you haven't already gone to the match arena now is the time the matches at least for this stream are finished 